I'd ask that you no longer see me as a role model, but see me as an individual that had the opportunity to be a role model and blew it. What did you mean by that, not being a role model? I think at the time, I, I uh, felt a lot of shame. Uh, I didn't want to be looked upon as a role model. I pretty much wanted to be looked upon as someone that had the opportunity and, and screwed it up. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, as, I, as ultimately a loser. Sure. As, as soon as I found out the opportunity that I had here to get out and to educate not only myself but everybody else, then I felt that there was, uh, you know, for every 10 people I heard, I want to help 100. Yeah. Tommy, how angry are you at yourself because of, because of what has happened? I, I'm very guilty. I think it's not so much at first it was anger and now it has how does that change how does anger go to guilt i think at I mean, first you want to punch a wall no i haven't punched anything yet uh I, I you know i i i had enough anger where i felt that i wanted to do something like that but i'm i've gotten a little wiser as i've gotten older so uh you know in uh I was just real guilty and, uh, you know, anger at first for believing that it happened and, and accepting the idea that it did, in fact, happen. And then uh, after it sets in, then you feel very guilty and very shameful for being so irresponsible. You know, we have, uh, our generation has totally disregarded our moral value teachings that were taught to us by our parents. And uh, we teach sex as a sort of social behavior. Lisa Tiger is also from Tommy's home state of Oklahoma. Now, we've heard that Tommy usually feels that people in Oklahoma, especially if you're living in a small town, you know, age is, it, it's a foreign country. Lisa had her whole life in front of her. No one ever imagined, especially Lisa, that she would get AIDS. And you got it because what? You messed around with the wrong guy, Lisa? Yes, I was involved in a relationship for three years, and I thought I was safe in this relationship because if you were heterosexual and... Um, monogamous then you're supposed to be okay and I was like Tommy I, I thought that AIDS was on the East Coast the West Coast I thought it would eventually come to Oklahoma but it just wasn't there yet and this guy gave you the virus yes I don't know if it was denial that he was in or just that he was angry I, I've heard that people sometimes have the attitude if I'm gonna die I'm gonna take as many people with me as and I you can. tried to take uh... Uh, you tried to take him to court, didn't you? Yes, I pressed criminal charges, but in the state of Oklahoma, there's no law that protects you against that. It yeah. says that if you knowingly have HIV and intentionally try to infect somebody, but the word intent is impossible to prove. Well, I would like to have this guy as a sparring partner. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, what keeps you going all the, What keeps you going every day? Well, it's what's the, your inspiration? I have a lot of different inspirations. The new inspiration that I have is I've taken custody of four children, and they're ages three, four, five, and six. And they were sexually and physically abused, and I, hopefully I can give them a better life than they've had up till now. Um, I, have a question. I have a question for Tommy. Did you ever consider the possibilities of being HIV positive before you found out you were? Uh, no, I never did. I, even though I knew that I had, over the years, been with a number of women, I, uh, uh, I always thought that I could tell a classy lady from a more undesirable lady. <laughs> you know, every guy has that party where, you know, you can, you know, a classy chick from a trashy chick, that sort of thing. And, Do you uh, think, you know, Tommy, I mean, I, and of course I'm not there, but I'm a guy, and I, I mean, I, and, and the lifestyle that you told me about in terms of you lived, I mean, I've watched that, and it's, who knows, in parts of my life, I was a little wilder than at other times in my life. Have you ever tried to pinpoint it down? I mean, do you start thinking, who was it? I, uh, I think some, somewhere along the line I, I will, but at this point, you know, where I got it, I mean, do you have it down to it. five women or ten women? I mean, can you say, <laughs> maybe it was her? I mean, who, I mean... I, I'm really, I'm really unsure. I, I really don't know. But uh, I think what's important is not how I got it or where I got it. I think very few people really care about that. What matters is where you go from here. Right. The important thing here is that we accept responsibility for ourselves. I have the responsibility to protect myself. I didn't do that. So he has the responsibility to protect himself. He didn't do that. We are responsible for our own actions. When we come back, we have a surprise for Tommy Morrison. You don't want to miss it after this. <laughs> Uh, we 
have a surprise for you, Tommy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former heavyweight boxing champion of the world, <laughs> Olympic gold medal winner, Smokin' Joe Frazier. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what do you think of this guy? This is about the closest guy they say has a left hook almost like mine, but uh, <laughs> now you had one. a great one. Is Tommy making the right decision to retire from boxing? I would say uh, yes. Uh, I know Tommy wouldn't want anything to happen to his opponent. Uh, let's say the guys within the ring, around the ring, you know right. what I mean? So you think it's a good decision? I think it's a good decision, yes. Okay, we'll be back right after this. Tommy Morrison, Joe Frazier, Jonathan, Lisa. Yes. I have a question for Tommy. How um, does your fiancé feel about the HIV virus thing, and are you two still together? Uh, at this point, we we're still together uh obviously i feel that this situation is going to put a strain on that relationship i know that we both of us are going to find out as far as preventative measures that sort of thing but this is something that and she's you mean a there's a girl. chance that you could split up i think there's always a possibility i think the long-term effect of uh, on this relationship will probably give me that answer uh i don't know would you like to stick together I think that that is her decision. You know, I told her that she has the opportunity to leave if she wants, and I would have no choice but to understand her. Boy, that, I, I, I'm sorry. I, sorry. I mean, I that kind of hit me just now. I didn't. I didn't know that was. You know, that sounds like a strong possibility. That, that what you're saying is you're putting it in her court. It's it's her decision, and I would ha have to understand it if she did. In fact, if she wants kids. She wants to, I don't feel like I want to cheat her out of that opportunity. Uh, this is a very important person, particularly in Jonathan's life and to so many other kids. This is Neil Willinson, and Neil runs a camp. And Jonathan, you're, you're part of this, aren't you? Yeah. And what's the name of the camp? Camp Heartland. We have 500 kids like Jonathan, somehow affected by AIDS. Either they have AIDS or they have a sibling with it or have lost uh, someone to AIDS. And, and you've done this on your own? You started when you just had a few kids and now it's grown so much over the last four or five years? Kids like Jonathan are, are my inspiration. There, there is hope. He's proven. He's living ten years beyond what the doctors said. Tommy, Lisa, Jonathan, there is hope. Just keep on fighting every day. Okay. Uh, I want to thank Joe. Joe, thank you so much for being here. Joe Frazier, I appreciate your coming. You're such an inspiration to so many people. Thank you very much. Jonathan, you got a lot more fans now. Let me tell you, there are millions of people out there who've watched you today, and they think of you as the biggest of heroes. <laughs> Lisa, what you've done for yourself after you, unfortunately, uh, were at the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong man, uh, should be an inspiration to so many as well. Thank you. And Tommy, this is the beginning of a long road for you. Mm -hmm. And I think you've taken the right steps. And I think uh, whether you knew of Tommy Morrison as a boxer before or nobody ever heard of Tommy Morrison, you have a chance to have a huge impact on millions of people. That's very kind. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you out there, everyone. Until next time, America. <laughs> Meet daughters who haven't seen their fathers for most of their lives. Share a special moment with them on our most emotional reunion show ever, tomorrow.